Welcome to America Unit. In this video, we are going to be talking about at least Jawan, where Shah Rukh Khan legitimizes a certain hairstyle. No, I'm kidding. A terrific Shah Rukh Khan is in full-on mass mode. But the film itself, I think, is far from terrific. The overstuffed screenplay wants to tackle so many issues that it has no focus. It works as a series of vocational highlights, and if that's all you want, why watch this review? That's a short review. The longer review follows, it may have spoilers. So do watch at your own discretion now in the same year that is this year Shah Rukh Khan has given us a masala movie with Pathan and a mass movie with Jawan. Everything tied together in Pathan everything. The Dimple Kapadia character, the reason the villain became a villain, everything was tied to the nation. In other words, we had a screenplay that entertained us by telling an organic story whose every emotional beat rose from a central idea. At least Jawan could have been a similar masala movie, but then, with the exception of Beigel Athlete, does not do coherent masala movies. He makes mass movies that showcase the heat zero and few hero showcasing scenes have topped the one in Jawan where an ailing banded Shah Rukh Khan is roused by the sounds of bullet in a scene at the beginning of the film. Just like an amnesiac gets his memory back at the end of the film through the sound of a gun. At the beginning, this mummified Shah Rukh is revived by these bullet sounds. We get a sensational silhouette bandages, flying the sky streaked with lightning and the hero is back in action. The action hero really seems to be back in Hindi cinema after Pathan and Gadar 2 and now Jawan. But again, while Pathan and Gadar 2, except for the comical last half hour where proper films Jawan is what I like to call a cartoon. For undemanding adults, the mass movie, in other words, is the grown up equivalent of the colorful hypercut animated shots you'd play for your kid in the car to keep them occupied. And that is not a disc. Not everyone goes to the theater to make sense of narrative character arcs and marvel at set pieces and performances. Sometimes you just want something to keep playing on screen while munching on popcorn and looking at your phone. And sometimes you want to treat the theater like a temple and step inside simply to worship your star in that opening scene with the mummified Shah Rukh that I just talked about his shadows projected on the statue of a local god. The devotees in my theatre were in throes of ecstasy. Shahrush is in fine form, playing to the gallery as a mysterious bald man who hijacks a train with his army of six women. He is even better in his second role as a spaced-out older man who kicks serious ass but just doesn't want to be kissed. What drains the joy from the film, though, is the very southern trait of wanting to messageify everything. Attlee has often been accused of repackaging older films here. He repackages the entire, over the entire sensibility of his guru Shankar, the man dispensing vigilante justice, the man with the half mask, the man fighting for farmers, the man fighting the broken healthcare system, the man fighting the broker electoral political system, the man fighting a corrupt arms dealer, a very ill at ease Vijay Sethupathi, who's responsible for the deaths of Indian soldier, and who wants to make India the base for factories that pollute the environment. It's all in here and along with the one patented Shankar flashback. We get several mini flashbacks too, because it tries to pack in so much or stuff in so much, instead of following a single thread of villainy, Jawan lacks the focus and the emotional impact of the odd-numbered Shankar films, I am talking about Gentleman Indian Mudal 1 and so on, but then again, I'm making an unfair comparison. Shankar believed in organic screenplays, he believed in the Masala movie, at least servicing a new generation. A brand new generation and maybe the way to look at at least work is to see Shankar's films as being reshaped for the attention deficit TikTok generation. As one of my blog readers put it, several scenes are so hyper-edited that you think the filmmakers are saving. Ot viewers. 
The trouble of fast-forwarding through them, even the emotions with the super-glamorous Nayanthara and her daughter, are barely allowed to linger, she plays. The negotiator out to get the vigilante. It's a nice twist to have this character played by a woman, a single mother, but her strength soon falls away and she gets in line with the plan, the things happening on screen that is the reasons for all the sound and fury sound, very emotional, but they are all showcased in quick bursts of quick cut scenes and the tragedies barely register, and as a result, none of the women in Shah Rukh scan people like Sanya Malhotra and Priyamani, none of them come alive as characters, they are all interchangeable. Apart from the hero, the one actor who makes an impression, is the radiant Deepika Padukone. In this screw, the old farts who want the movie to breathe just move on to the next highlight approach. It was a relief for at least this old fart to get to the main flashback with Deepika's old world character. I love the way she's written on the surface. She's playing what Nithya Menon played in Merzal. But this woman has a lot more agency and a lot more dignity for a brief. While in this Deepika Padukone portion, we are back in the realm of solid masala cinema. Again, we learn about a boy raised in a women's prison who is told that they are all mothers, and we realize that Shah Rukh's all woman gang is no gimmick. He is a man raised by women. The situation and Irshad Kamil's lyrics for the beautiful song Arari Raro took me back to Chanda Hetu from Aradhana, and it's a wonderful device to have snare drums in the interludes to hint at the missing father who was or is in the army. He is a man so mythical that his face reveal happens through fire. The film scale is big and the on-screen grandeur helps us really savour these larger-than-life movements and Anirudh's electrifying background score helps. It makes us feel things are more exciting than they really are. At some time, parts we get a chart that sounds like Macy. Oh, and it's as though we are being reminded that we are inside a mass movie and should not be analyzing anything if you are that person good for you. Otherwise, the person where a sketch artist draws a suspect's face during a wedding had such potential for suspense, but why bother? This is a mass movie. The portion with Shah Rukh Khan, Tara, and her daughter had such potential for romance and drama, but why bother? This is a must movie for a good masala version of how such a track can play out. See, an air in Daljawan definitely has its moments like a car and bike chase that stage grandly, at least by our standards, or the whistle-worthy Barb Beta line that works superbly even. If you've already seen it in the trailer, but as always with these mass films, some of us will come away with this feeling. All those craws, and they couldn't buy themselves a decent script. P.S. Ma's movies need good writing too. And that's it about Javan. If you like this video review, subscribe.